Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And if any other thoughts come into your mind, just let them go. You don't have to pay any attention to them right now. Get some control over your mind. Get some, some straight restraint. This principle of restraint is a very important part of the practice. Those precepts we take every week, every week, just to remind you there are certain activities that if you don't restrain yourself from them, they're going to cause trouble. And they're so important that we repeat them every week because they're part of the, what makes human society livable, what makes us human beings. Animals just act on impulse. Human beings can tell sometimes when their impulses are not skillful and they can hold themselves back. They find that that way they don't cause trouble for themselves, they don't cause trouble for other people. It's with this principle of restraint, together with the principle of generosity, that makes living together in human society worthwhile. Otherwise, we'd be better off just going off on our own. And if people couldn't control their emotions, if they couldn't control their actions, if they weren't generous with one another, who would want to live together? It's because they're really basic things like this that we can live together, and they tend to get forgotten. Nowadays it's all about the latest personal device, the latest social media. And it's just sending information back and forth and receiving information, but the, unless there's generosity, unless there's some restraint underlying these things, then, it's, then these things just exacerbate the problem. You're in touch with more people than you were with before, and that can be for the good or for bad, especially if people don't have restraint. You can't re wait for other people to be restrained, but you can develop some restraint within yourself. And in doing so, you create a safe corner of the universe for yourself and the people you touch. So when you think about those precepts, no killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no taking intoxicants, these are really basic qualities that make us human beings, it makes humanity what, well, humane, worth living together. It all comes from learning from re some restraint. So. To be restrained, though, you need to have a good place to stay, otherwise you feel starved and depleted by your restraint, and then you stop. This is why we meditate, is have a good sense of well-being inside. If you can breathe in such a way that feels good inside, you're a lot less likely to want to go out and do something that's going to be harmful. So learn how to find a sense of well-being, just being with the breath, and make that the basis for being a human being. As you look around us, everything seems to be falling apart, but you want to make sure that your virtue doesn't fall apart, your generosity doesn't fall apart. You maintain what you can, what's within your power. As I said, when you give safety to other beings like this, then you have a portion of that universal safety yourself. So for your protection, for the protection of people around you, keep a careful eye on the impulses that come up in the mind, and don't follow everything that comes into the mind. Have a quiet place, a steady place, a safe place where you can sort things out, what's worth following what's not worth following. And that's how human society becomes a good place to live. <laughs>